and good evening and welcome to the Archibald Prize 2021 Regional Tour in Cowra. It's taken five years, but you know, we've got it again. <laughs> um, first of all, I'd like to um, commence by acknowledging the Wiradjuri people, the traditional custodians of the land that we meet on tonight, and uh, pay my respect to their elders, both past and present. It's a privilege and a unique opportunity not only to be hosting such a wonderful exhibition in the Central West, but my theme for the night is that we're the centre of the universe uh, for the next six weeks. So uh, I think that's a great opportunity for us to um, celebrate Cowra and um, the gallery. So I'd now like to invite Councillor Bill West, Mayor of Cowra Shire Council, to the lectern as our guest speaker to welcome everyone here tonight. Thank you, Brian, and uh, thank you for that well introduction and welcome. And I would correct you on one thing. Before we start, we are the centre of the universe always. <laughs> not just on tonight. Uh, I too would acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land in which we gather, the Rajput people, and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. The Archibald Prize in 2021 is an art gallery of New South Wales touring exhibition and associated, <coughs> associated with the principal sponsor ANZ. And I would acknowledge and welcome this evening as I have Miranda Carroll and Damien Lance and say how much we as a community appreciate this touring exhibition being part of our community for the next few weeks. And I must congratulate ANZ for this corporate sponsorship and the way you are able to promote these sorts of exhibitions out into rural and regional areas. And to the Art Gallery of New South Wales, it is, it is, I think, very special that the Art Gallery of New South Wales is moving beyond larger metropolitan areas and bringing these exhibitions out into rural and regional areas where so many people can see them, benefit from them, and I hope encouraged to be part of the cultural world and the art world. So, Miranda, thank you very much, and I do acknowledge the contribution that, that you and the, the uh, Art Gallery in New South Wales are playing in this very important role for our communities. And it's just, as Brian did rightly say, we are, for a while, the centre of the universe in regards to the Archibald. So it's not just a local community event, but it's one which we will be encouraging people from across the broader landscape to be part of and come and visit this very special, very special event. But I would acknowledge, if I may, the work of Brian Langer, our director, for the work that he does, as well as his staff. <laughs> and of course, acknowledge the work that his staff do to support both him and the art world. And I'm back online, thank you. <laughs> And I don't mean to embarrass him, but David Henley and the Art Gallery Advisory Committee, we've been very fortunate since the Art Gallery opened that not diminishing Brian's responsibilities and his role, we've been very fortunate that we've had very, very strong and very passionate members of the Advisory Committee who have supported the gallery to an extremely good, good standard, which has maintained and improved the quality of what we see in our community. And of course, the gallery, I need not tell you, generates diversity, innovation and creativity, not just in our Shire, but around the region. There's a major cultural attraction within Cowra and draws visitors from around Australia and overseas. So it's only reinforced by this very special Archibald touring exhibition of, of, the, of 2021. And with that, I extend a warm welcome to you all. And I must say, as I look around the room, some of the eyes in some of these paintings really capture your imagination and really are looking right through you almost. And I got scared when I was standing in front of this one over here because I thought someone was standing behind me. <laughs> but finally, I would extend a warm welcome to the Archibald Tilly Exhibition. May you enjoy being hung in the Cow Regional Art Gallery. 
for the next few weeks because we most certainly will enjoy having you here. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite um, the representative of the ANZ, Business Banking Manager, Mr Damien Lance, to speak to you all. Thanks everyone, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen, and anyone who doesn't fit into those categories. Um, it, it's a great privilege for me to be here tonight um, to have a chat with you guys just uh, for the opening here of the um, Archibald Prize 2021 here at the Cowra Regional Art Gallery. Um, so my name's Damien Lance, Business Making Manager in Bathurst. Um, I'm just going to preface all this, I'm not a public speaker, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet, just for everyone's mental health. <laughs> um, uh, ANZ, this will mark this year, um, 13 years that ANZ has um, been a major sponsor and supporting the Archibald Prize. Um, it's, it's something that ANZ look at with the arts community um, that they want to do, and just personally, from the way I see the sponsorship, because ANZ does sponsor a lot of other things as well. Um, what it does for me is that actually the Archibald Prize, um, they bring it out to the rural areas. And as a, a country boy myself, born in Orange, I've lived in Bathurst Orange Dubbo my whole life. Um, it's good to see that this sort of art can be brought out um, to the regional areas. And it really does hit you when you see some of these artworks that you know, you don't get that sort of feeling just from the TV or from a magazine. You can actually feel it when you're actually standing in front of it. So to have that out in a rural area, um, that's close to my heart that we can sort of go through. Um, we're, we're tough buggers out in the country and we've been through a lot. And over the past three or four years, you know, we've had terrible drought uh, followed by terrible fires and then a terrible pandemic, and now we've got terrible floods in rural areas and terrible Vladimir Putin as well. So it doesn't seem to end. But to have something to come out to the local gallery here um, and to rural areas is something that can get the local community out, um, get us together, nourish the soul, start conversations. And I think after the last two years we've had with COVID, um, we need more ideas, more reasons to get out of the house and to, to go out into the community and talk to people and discuss. Um, ANZ also uh, is the sponsor for the um, ANZ People's Choice Awards um, and that's voted by the public and again that's close to my heart as well. Um, I don't know anything about art, I could tell you which is the best painting here but I know what I like and I like what I like and to actually have an award that we can present to somebody that people just by themselves have a look at something and say, that speaks to me. And that's to me what art is. Um, I think everyone can have a look around at the art on the walls tonight and find at least one piece that nourishes them, that gives them something or challenges them or gives them some joy. And I think that's really what we, what we need to be doing moving forward after the terrible two years that we've had. Um, so I'll cut it pretty short, hopefully. I haven't spoken too long. Um, yeah, everyone have a good look around. Enjoy yourself while you're in there. Congratulations to the, the winners, the finalists, but also every single artist that um, you know puts up an artwork for this prize. I think it takes a lot of guts, courage. I mean, something like this, it doesn't take a week to make. It takes a lifetime to grow and to get, um, to hone your skills and to do things wrong and to practice. So when I look at these artworks, I see a lifetime of work behind them. So congratulations to everyone that got in there. Have a great evening. And if you want to talk about artwork, I'm not the person to say <laughs> It's a delight to be here today, tonight, um, in Cowra on behalf of the Art Gallery of New South Wales to open this exhibition. And it's so lovely to meet new friends tonight and to see some old friends on the wall here as well. So um, really delighted to be here. 
it's, it's great to see the winner uh, by Peter Wagner of Guy Warren, uh, most sentient in that in its last year, because in fact, last year, the 2021 Archibald Prize was the 100th year of the Archibald Prize. And Guy Warren turned 100 last year. So it was very, um, I, hope, I hope Peter is able to come down to the gallery here because he tells a great story about painting centenarians uh, through his career. And he's actually done quite a few of them. I didn't think there were very many um, centenarians in the, in the world, but he's, he's managed to paint quite a few of them. So I hope he does come down and speak to you because he's got some very interesting stories. Um, I also wanted to uh, say that um, it's great to see these works again because last year we had the prize. It was only open at the gallery for about three weeks before we had to close again for the lockdowns uh, last summer. So these were only on our walls in the gallery in Sydney for about three weeks or maybe four, but not enough time. Um, so it's really, really valuable that we have the ANZ sponsorship to actually tour these to the regions as well so that everybody can see them more. And it's really d delightful for me to see them again and see so many friends. I'm a bit daunted by Ben Quilty asleep behind me, but uh, <laughs> um, he's probably falling asleep at the speeches. But uh, <laughs> um, So um, I've got some rather interesting stats for you um, about the Archibald Prize. So um, we had actually 2,144 entries and that's across the Archibald, Wynne, and Sulman prizes last year, which was a record um, amount of entries. Now, out of that, there were 938 entries for the Archibald, and out of that, the trustees chose, selected 52 finalists, which you'll see here, um, and it was the first time that we actually had gender parity, which is rather remarkable and lovely, uh, so 26 of each uh, that, was, that was really great to have that last year as well. So we're just about to open the doors at the gallery on the, on the loading dock for this year's entries, which will be on show from May this year. Um, the packing room prize went to that portrait behind, behind you over there. Um, Catherine Longhurst, painting of uh, Kate Sobrano. And again, the packing room prize is something that is uh, sponsored by ANZ. So thank you again, Damien. And, um, of course, this painting was the winner. Uh, I know that here you will select your own people's choice, as Brian mentioned. Um, I don't know which one you will choose, but it's always um, really nice to see something slightly different come from each different place that the Archibald travels to. Um, I did also want to say thanks again to Brian and the team. Uh, this is actually, I looked up and some, got some research, uh, we've actually been working together since 1951. Not you and me, but but, the, but Cara and the relationship with the art gallery in Sydney. So apparently there was an exhibition here from Sydney that came out. There's Australian watercolours, and it wasn't at this gallery because this wasn't here then, but it was at the town hall. So again, thank you, Mayor. <laughs> um, so we've had a long relationship with you, and as you said, we've had... Um, I think this is the fifth Archibald Prize to come to Cara as well. Um, so, um, all that being said, I would love to uh, open the exhibition, and I would also like to see you all in Sydney, if you can make it, at the end of this year, when we open um, our new Sydney Modern Project, Transformation Project, which is doubling the size of our campus. Uh, so you'll have two buildings and a uh, whole landscape and campus. It's opening at the end of this year. It's an open invitation for everybody to come down then. So hope to see you in Sydney. But really, thanks again to Brian and the whole team here at Cowra uh, for putting on this magnificent show. Thank you to ANZ for their continued support of the prize. And I declare this exhibition open. Please enjoy.